Nobody really seems to know who first said that the more you do, the more you can do. But if you want to see how it's done, just take a look at what Teresh Hari Prasad manages to pack into one day. Tevin went off to find out how Teresh gets it right and discovered that it's all about an early start. Most of us only get to see the dawn because we really have to. But Teresh Hari Prasad is out on the beach in the early morning hours because he wants to be. His day begins with a salutation to the sun. And there's more to this than pure routine. The Raj finds that yoga energizes his body and centers his mind in anticipation of another packed day, giving this dynamic young broadcaster the physical and mental stamina he needs to sift through the mass of information, ideas, and opinions that he curates for his listeners. Today, are men really trash, or is this just some indication of what certain women feel? If you're a Lotus FM listener, you'll probably think of Taresh Hari Prashad as the radio personality who keeps you up to date and informed. That's perfectly true, but that's just one aspect of his life. And I've heard that he's got a pretty diverse range of passions and interests, which is why today we're about to meet Taresh to chat to him about his busy life. Taresh, been waiting for that green light. Yeah, welcome to Mela. Thank you so much for having me. So you had a great day today, yoga, how was it? Refreshed after having this amazing session of yoga on the beach. It's, it's how I start my day, gets me in gear, gets the energy levels up, love it. When did you get interested in journalism? You know, one of the things that I enjoy most about being a journalist is the sense of purpose. You've got this deadline, you've got this pressure and you've got this vital point that you need to raise to society to get them clued up. And I love that. It becomes this goal of mine to ensure that my listeners are able to extract vital information from me. Now, aside from the journalism, you're also into classical Indian dancing and Kathak. How did that journey begin? I can definitely tell you about that, but I gotta go back on air now. And I have to pick up the suit for this uh, red carpet event. Maybe we'll talk about Kathak then? No, sure. Continue. So I'm back on Newsbreak Talk now. Tadej Hari Prashad bringing you cutting edge current affairs. Having signed up from his show, Taresh joined Tevin as they made their way to a fashionable menswear store for a consultation with leading Durban style guru, Marcelino Valahu. What did you have in mind? So I was just looking for something a bit more fitted, tailored around the waist, a bit of a silhouette. That's, that, that's not my scene, it's, it's my, too loud. Really. Okay, what we could do is we could take the pants, yeah. yeah? Break it up with a solid navy jacket, okay. which will complement the pants. And what we could do, clean white shirt, burgundy tie, and a nice pocket square. So let your elements of design come from your pants. Okay, now that could work. Okay, cool, yeah. let's try it out. All right. How do you like it, bro? I, I didn't think I would, huh? yeah. but I, I love it. I love the fit and I love the way the pants fall. Absolutely. Everything complements each other. Yeah. Navy jacket complements the navy here. Mm -hmm. Your burgundy pinstripe complements yeah. your tie. And we just need to add the last bit of detail, which is a plain white pocket square to complement your white shirt. I see. And we are done. Happy. Happy. Bro, well, thanks so much. Thank you so much, Thank man. you. Nice. Yeah, I like this, Marcelino. Thank How you so doing? much, man. Good. Okay, Teresh, let's get back to that discussion on Katak. How did you first become interested in classical Indian dance? You know, I think I was obsessed with Kathak from the time I was a kid. Maybe it's because I'm a big fan of Madhuri Dixit. So I came to a point in life where, you know, I had graduated, I was working, I was doing postgrad studies, and I just thought, what's the one thing that's going to make my mind pop? And I thought, well, why not learn Kathak? And I did, and it was an adventure. It was completely challenging but at the same time, the best experience of my life. I loved the way it had an amalgamation of strong, fiery footwork and graceful pirouettes and hand gestures. And I thought it was a great art experience. So how do you balance your passion for Kathak and journalism? Both avenues of my work demand a lot of attention. So keeping it separate is important for me as to not give any part of my life a half-heartedness. So if I'm at work, it's complete work. If I'm at dance, it's complete dance. So Teresh, do you have a message for all the male viewers at home who want an extra hour in the day but just can't have it? I think what you need to do is prioritize. You know, you wake up in the morning and you set an intention for your day in all facets. And you try and uphold that intention, stay with it so you know how to stay focused on each task. And ultimately, I think what you need to do is you need to 
own it. You need to give passion to everything you're doing, so pace yourself. So on that note, you're performing tonight and we're really excited to come and watch you and support you. What can we expect from your solo performance? It's the first time I'm presenting a solo Kathak piece. The entire concept of why I'm doing this is very important. It's bringing out the male Kathak dancer, showcasing him to the world, the fact that he's masculine, he's powerful, he's composed. And I just cannot wait to share that with you, this amazing journey of mine. And I really want you to, to love it. Well, Teresh, on that note, good luck for tonight. I'm looking forward to the performance. I'll see you there. I'll see you there. Presenting your first solo stage performance is a major step in the career of a Katakar. But when Taresh took to the stage, there was no trace of nerves. We can't control time, but we can decide what we do with the time that we have. Daresh has learned to manage his day with all the vitality, precision and grace that characterizes his dancing, emulating the true spirit of the Nataraja.